Section 2 of The Silence What It Is, How to Use It. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by LT The Silence What It Is, How to Use It by David Van Bush. Section 2 Health Silence Select one or more of the affirmations or formulas below to hold in thought while in the silence. You may change or vary these as you choose. Selections as follows. Soul is health. Spirit is health. God is health. I am health. Since there is but one mind, there is but one mentality. This mind and mentality is God. God is health. I am health. I am whole perfect, strong, powerful, loving, harmonious, and happy, and what I am myself I desire for everyone else. I am filled with the abundant, intelligent, ever-present life of spirit. It flows through me freely, cleansing, healing, purifying, and vitalizing every part. I am one with this life, and in it I am every whit whole. The all-powerful Christ mind in me dissolves and dissipates every adverse thought. My body is the pure and holy temple of the living God, and every organ and every function is now in divine order and harmony. All the organs of my body are functioning normally, and I am well, whole, and complete. All is mind, all is God, all is universal energy. I am part of creative force, and I am health, abundance, joy, and peace. I am filled. I am thrilled with life eternal, and I radiate that life within to me and without to all. Every experience of my life has been for my good, and I am happy in living. God is spirit. I, use your name here, am life. Life spirit is now flowing through me freely, and I am well, whole, and complete. Be still and know that I am God. Use the following as a basis for your meditation as you demonstrate health. Of course, you may use other thoughts provided they are constructive health thoughts. You may practice the silence sitting, reclining, or in bed. There is no better way to learn how to relax than by going into the silence. Are you tense? Let go. Relax. Then direct the mind to go from one part of the body to another. Take a deep breath between each change of your consciousness. Be sure to use the diaphragmatic or abdominal breathing, breathing through the nostrils, mouth closed until the muscles of the abdomen expand. The best time to hold the silence is as you retire at night, and just as you awaken in the morning. But you should hold your thought at least three times a day, without stress or strain, without doubt or worry, passive in mind and body, perfectly relaxed. Hold the silence or thought upon retiring at night, awakening in the morning, and at noon day. Of course, you may take any other time that is convenient. You may concentrate on the roadway, streetcar, home, or office, but it is well, if possible, to have one room for your silence. Most people in that way will build up stronger vibrations. At noon now, there are all over the world thousands of others holding silence so that there is a great combined mental force working together at one time for success, health, prosperity, and happiness and we therefore get the benefit of this great vibration. The more often you hold the silence without stress or strain, as a rule, the quicker may be the demonstration. The real part of me is spirit, not matter. I believe that this body of mine is a tabernacle for the spirit. The real I am within me is therefore spirit. The real me is spirit. This spirit is the God spirit. This is what Jesus meant when in the fourteenth chapter of John, and again in the seventeenth chapter of the same gospel, speaking to his disciples, he referred to, I in you, you in me, and we in God. My spirit is a part of the God spirit. God is health. God is perfection. God is abundance. God is harmonious. Therefore, the real I am is God. The real I am is health, perfection, abundance, and harmony. When I am sick, I know that it is the material of me that is sick, not the God spirit. 
It is my physical being which is out of harmony. It is this tabernacle of which Paul speaks, housing my spirit, which gives me pain and suffering. The real me is not sick. It is my body. For centuries we have held to a wrong idea of life. We have thought that life is material, but life is spiritual. It is the invisible within me which is eternal, which is God. Many still believe that life is material and matter, instead of mind and spirit. I no longer hold that conception. I believe that all is mind and spirit. Just here is where the healing methods of drugs and the scientist's explanation of life is so limited. Not until we recognize that life is really a thing of spirit, not matter but mind, not material but spiritual, do we come into an understanding of truth. Jesus said, God is spirit, and on different occasions told his disciples that this spirit was within them as well as within himself. Therefore, this same spirit is within me, and this same spirit is the God spirit of health, abundance, happiness, harmony, and perfection. God is all health, all abundance, all harmony, peace, and perfection. Therefore, the God spirit within me is the same. I am sick in body, not in mind, not in spirit. Inasmuch as I cannot conceive of God being sick, neither can I conceive of my spirit being sick. My spirit is health, perfection, and harmony. My body may not be well, but since mind is all, since this material is subject to the spiritual, since matter is subject to mind, I believe and affirm that my health does not depend upon matter but upon the God spirit within me. It depends not upon the material but the spiritual, upon the God mind within. Just as wood when made into a violin and properly tuned will give forth harmony, so my body, though made in the material, when properly tuned by mind will give forth harmonious living, perfect health. As the tree standing in the forest may be made into the violin music box of harmony, so my body, the material in the forest of matter, may be put in tune, become harmonious and be raised to perfection by the master musician, God, his mind within me. God is all health. No one could conceive of God as being sick. I can visualize only the eternal spirit of the infinite Father, perfection existing in everything, and I being a child in spirit, I am whole and complete in spirit. My real I am is well. Science now asserts that matter is composed of twelve octaves, just as in music. My body is the composite of these twelve octaves. Science also says that every cell atom Every electron in my body is intelligent. This spirit of mine is housed in the tabernacle of the body, which is composed of millions of millions of cells, all of which having intelligence respond in my body according to the way I think. Every word I entertain, every thought I hold, influences every one of the millions of cells making up this tabernacle. My body is made whole and complete physically. That is, all the cells of my body are made over new every eleven months. The body I have today is not the body I had eleven months ago. I get a new body every eleven months, and my body is today what my thinking was yesterday, the day before that, and the months before that. My body in the future depends upon my thinking in the future. I am what I think I am. When I affirm that I am well, whole, and complete, that I am perfect, harmonious, and strong, I am suggesting to every atom in my body perfection and every atom in turn begins to make my body over, new in health and in perfection. I may or I may not have to wait for the element of time to make over every cell. That may be done spontaneously and instantly. There is no limitation to the power of God, so I shall not set a time limit for my healing, knowing that all things are possible with the Father. I affirm that now I have that which I desire. I know that now the spirit of divine health is surging through me, touching and reaching every atom of my body, and that now the God spirit within me is perfect, and that spirit makes my body perfect. Man is a spiritual being. Man expresses himself mentally and manifests himself physically. The one life animates all that exists. Harmony of existence depends upon the polarities of the three aspects of life. The mind is at ease when open to the inflow of the spirit. It is discordant when it follows sensory impressions. The body is healthy when responsive to the direction of the spiritualized mind. It becomes diseased when it accepts the physical as its guide. 
one achieves mental ease and physical health through his mental polarity. If open to the physical and closed to the spiritual, discord will prevail. If open to the spiritual and closed to the physical, he lives the one life, in mental ease and physical health. I open my mind to the inflow of the spirit. I place my body under the control of my spiritualized mind. I feel the one life animate my mind and my body. I am a spiritual being. I am perfect health. End of section 2